has thrown Central America into chaos. It is already spreading to South America. So, you must understand to negotiate a peace settlement at this time would not be in the best interest of our revolutionary Mr. movement. Mr. Trevino, no politics. Just the package. Package? Target. The head. What you're paying us for. <laughs> Forgive me, I forgot your loyalties go no further than... Uh, Box 1521, Bank of Zurich. Your target is Montego Airlines, flight 524, arriving next week carrying the Sao Paulo peace delegation. You are to blow it up, just as it touches American soil. You're aware that the security is going to be impossible to penetrate. We pay you what you ask, because you are the best, and the best to find ways to do the impossible. That's why what we asked just doubled. I'm working on. It's gone a bit berserk. Shh. Robot? You don't have to call the police, do you? She's got my vote. What's your name, Sonny? What's it to you, Shorty? Hey. I just want to know your name. Do you want to come inside? We've got tuna salad sandwiches. Till he puts raisins in them, you'll love them. I don't take food from strangers. Then you better get to know your jailer, kid, otherwise you're going to starve. Do you want to go with him or come with me? Walk like a robot. That's right. Keep the legs stiff. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Cranston. What's he doing? The kid's good. Why is he walking like that? 
Who cares? He's gotten us past McKay's security system without McKay even knowing it. She can walk normally now. Simon. Yeah? Do you realize what you're doing here? He just needs some help, Alex. He won't get it in jail or back on the streets, will he? Yeah, well, he's not a toy. You can't just fix him. Toys are just one of my specialties. How about something else? Milk and for what? More milk coming up. You understood that? <laughs> Stuff mouth is my second language. Is that a whole week freckle on your chin, or is that just a breadcrumb? Here. That's got it. So have you got a name, or is it just hey you? It's Todd, OK? Todd what? Just Todd. Hey, kid, we're trying to give you a break here. Hey, don't play good cop, bad cop with me, because I ain't buying it. No one's asking you to buy anything. It's all free. Where'd you sleep? Where I want. I've been there. It's pretty cold, isn't it? Have you ever sat down underneath the Third Street overpass? You'd freeze. I'm tougher than I look. So am I. I'll clear the dishes, Tilly. Your parents are pretty worried about you. They're dead. So what do you guys do? Run a fix-it shop or something? Sort of. Uh, I'm an inventor. Toys, mainly. Well, I'm sure he's heard of the famous Simon McKay, the wizard. You guys got a Saturday morning TV show? <laughs> I'm afraid not. I've got a workshop downstairs. What kind of workshop? I'll show you. This place looks like a junkyard. Yeah, I suppose it is, but I like junk. What's that thing? Oh, this. <laughs> You'll love this. Um, let me see. Take off your right sneaker. And I'd say you're about six and a half. Put this one on. Go on. <laughs> That's it. Now, put your foot in between these brushes. Go on, you can trust me. Put in one wimpy white sneaker and we take out one super cool scuff sneaker the day you bought it. Well? It's dumb. Silly maybe, but not dumb. Dumb means silent and I'm never that. I bet you've got a lot to say for yourself when you're not talking so much. I'm going to start transmitting the fingerprints now. Just as I thought. Simon has his method of helping the boy. I have mine. I like Simon's better. Todd, Todd, look at me. Someday you're going to have to trust somebody. Why don't you use me as a starter kit? Why? You don't trust me. Well, I don't know much about you, but I trust you. Oh, yeah, then prove it. Prove it. Yeah, what's in there? That's my secret workshop. Let me take a look around. Nope. See, you don't trust me. You're just like everybody else. You gotta say please first. <laughs> please? That's better. Come in. This is the Blue Streak. It's a prototype of a radio-controlled jet I'm working on. But I've got past this stage now. Why is it all in pieces? Well, that's what I do. I take things apart, put them together again, and then take them apart. You know we can make a fortune in all this radio control stuff. <laughs> we? Yeah, I'm 12. I'm a kid, right? 
so I know what all the other kids like. Radio control stuff is the best. Hmm. Well, if you're such a connoisseur, why don't you take that cover off over there? Slowly now. Shake says I'm not. You got a deal. Right after you wipe your hand. on the throttle just a hair. Now, cut the trim. Go ahead. The K's design is even more aerodynamic than on his patent application. You sure you can fly it? I can fly anything. Watch it. Thank you, Les. These are up. Good. Oh, great. I think we've given Alex enough thrills for the day, don't you? Let's bring her in for a landing. Here. No, you're doing fine. Fine of flying, but not landing. No. We stick on it. Remember, we made a deal. You're the pilot. Simon, that's a $50,000 prototype. 50 grand? Watch what you're doing. That's it. Now, throttle back and lower the landing gear. Simon, the ground's coming up too fast. Easy now. Pull back on the throttle. Ooh, I did it. I really did it. You were fairly well. Nice going, Ty. <laughs> Front and center. <laughs> now. What's that? These are your wings. You've earned them. Simon, I could have wrecked that thing, you know. But you didn't, did you? But you didn't know that. It's a nice feeling to be trusted, isn't it? Sure, this little plane can carry enough explosives? Trust me, Decker. Better yet, trust Simon McKay. That little plane can carry enough explosives to blow Flight 524 right out of the sky. Okay, kid? Yeah, couldn't be better. Authorities expect floodwaters to recede by Friday afternoon. For a direct report from International Airport, where security measures are high for the arrival of Mantigo Flight 524 tomorrow at noon, carrying the 15-nation peace delegation, we go to reporter Bill Middleton. Bill? I don't think I've ever seen a better performance out of a rookie running back. You don't mind, do you? last carry huh? from Spindley over the 200-yard mark. What's that? Six minutes into the third it's quarter. It's a perpetual motion from a child's perspective. Carter's ball now at their own 47-yard line, second and two. Carter split left. Good evening, Tilly. We're out of orange juice and apple. I know, I know. 
I could have kept with the old refrigerator, but no, I had to open my big mouth and ask Simon for a new one. <laughs> No! The old bag wanted me to take it in a trash barrel! He's got a funny look in his eye. It's because you scared me! Decker, let him go. <sighs> Todd, this isn't playtime. This is a job. And we're paying you a lot of money to get that plane. I need more time! There is no more time, Todd. I want that plane. Tonight. What if I can't get it? Then we'll go in and get it. You didn't kill Simon. Whoever gets in the way, kid. Nobody has to get hurt. Not if you do what you're supposed to. The plane. Tonight. Hey, turn that off a minute, Alex. Machine, if he can stay healthy. Just wait till Todd sees this. Todd! Tilly! Look, I've got it. One unattached ball with a magnetic core, one paddle with a pulsating negative positive field. Now look at this. Tilly. Voila. Perpetual motion. <laughs> uh huh. Well, first thing in the morning, I'll call the Perpetual Window Replacement Company. Come on, you two, supper's ready. Where is that boy? I can't find Todd anywhere. Well, the kid was bound to run off sooner or later. I don't believe that. I don't either. There's a lot of love underneath that exterior. Yeah, and a lot of anger and aggression. Believe me, Tilly, it's going to take a lot more than a couple of hot meals and a warm bed to get that kid's head on straight. Oh, it's Todd. Yeah, where were you? I'll take him a walk. Why? Dinner's ready. Because I fixed a fine, fat turkey full of stuffing, your favorite pie, and the best soup you ever ate. <coughs> Tilly, what is this? <coughs> this is the soup. This? It's my gloves. I'm dying them to match my new purse. <laughs> well, let's eat, huh? Sorry, I'm just not that hungry. Good evening, Tilly. We're still out of orange juice and apples. Ah, tell it to your ice maker. Your favorite words. You're not the only rebel around here, you know. Look, I said I wasn't hungry. <laughs> and I believe that about as much as I believe Adam said no thank you when Eve offered him the apple. Why do you guys keep treating me like a relative or something? You don't know me. You know nothing about me. That's true. So, tell me. It's none of your business. Wrong. When I'm around, everything's my business. And I got news for you. You're more of Simon's business than you know. You are his entire investment portfolio. So come on. You got something eaten at you. Come on, tell Tilly, and maybe we can kill it dead with the big broom. Stop being so nice to me. Oh, I can't help myself. You're so charming. You know, you're nuts. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Look, kid, you're trying to outstare an old sea dog that's been mugged in Morocco, cheated out of a month's pay in Macau, and left at an altar in Madagascar. I know trouble. 
time I know when someone's in trouble. Yeah, but you don't know me. It's all right there in your eyes. And what about all those guys in Macau who robbed and cheated you? You saw their eyes, too? I was young at the time. Maybe I wanted to be fooled. Or maybe punish myself for having some kind of problem. Just leave me alone. Please. Okay. Okay. We'll talk later, huh? Well, I'll tell you, there's a piece of chocolate cake underneath that napkin. Simon doesn't know anything about it. He thinks I'm all out. Everybody should be asleep by now. I don't like it. I'm going in. No, wait a few more minutes. Then we'll teach them that it's not polite to keep a lady waiting. Money. I just want to split, okay? But you earned it, Todd. Come on, relax. We'll drop you off wherever you want to go. That's okay. I'll walk. Oh, you are going with us. Oh! oh. Zachary, no, wait. Let him go. He's but he's just as much a part of this as we are. He'll be too scared to say anything to anyone. Look, he served his purpose. Now it's time to get McKay's plane ready to serve ours. Sorry. There's just no rhyme or reason to it, Alex. Well, I'm not so sure. I just got the fingerprint report. Kid's name's Todd Bernhardt. He's been in trouble with the San Bernardino Juvenile Authority since he was nine. Curfew violations, truancy, malicious mischief. Are his parents dead? No, no, no. They're just separated and worried as hell. I just don't understand it. The look in that boy's eyes when he landed the plane, I knew I was reaching him. Yeah, well, maybe you better check around and make sure nothing else is missing.
That's all here. Just doesn't make sense. Why did he do it? Simon, some people are going to self-destruct no matter what. Yeah, but not Todd. I don't care what your report says. Now, how can you say that after he took off with one of your most priceless inventions? Alex, the world is full of priceless inventions. Probably not worth enough for him to steal. This meant a lot to Todd. That's why he left it here. I think he's in trouble. We've got to find him. What? Simon. Simon. We can check out the underpass by 3rd Street. hopes he's here, part of me hopes he isn't. Yeah, well, I don't think Todd would come back down here. Not if he made any money on that airplane. Well, he might if he was scared. Listen, I'll go this way, you look that way, all right? All right. Uh, Simon, if I spot him, I'll give you the high sign. That way you can talk to him alone. Hmm. Am I that easy to read? <laughs> no. I'm just getting to know you. Why didn't you run away as soon as you knew we were here? Because there's such an easy mark, I knew you wouldn't bust me. I wanted to talk to you, too. So why don't you just take off and leave me alone? If you wanted a plane, I could have made you one. Plane? What plane? I don't see a plane. And I don't see a liar or a thief. All I see is a boy that's got into something way over his head. And now he can't get out. If you didn't want to help, but you wouldn't have left this. Sorry, Simon. I know you are. They were going to kill you if I didn't cooperate. And Alex and Tilly. They didn't take the money. I couldn't. It's all right. It's going to be all right. No, it isn't, Simon. About that couple in the blue van, do you have any idea where they lived? Who their friends were, where they bought groceries, gas, anything? They just said they paid me to get into Simon's house and steal the plane. I didn't ask him anything else, and they didn't say. Do you know why they wanted the plane? Well, how'd you meet them? How'd this whole thing come together, anyway? Well, they were looking in this old warehouse, me and my friends mess around in. I guess they were interested in renting it. So I charged them ten bucks to show them around. I guess they kind of like my style. Do you think you could show us around? Sure. Not a single metal part. Radar will never detect it. Ty, do you want to give us the truth about your family? So my parents aren't dead, okay? Big deal. All they did was fight until they split up, and they didn't even know I was around. Then when they split up, they treated me like a piece of furniture or a TV or something. Todd, Alex, talk to your parents. They're very worried about you. Yeah, I'll bet. Todd, just because parents can't live together doesn't mean they don't love their kids. Uh, first he's a cop, and now he's a philosopher? Todd, Alex deserves more respect than that. Simon, because... it's okay. I know how you feel, Todd. 
like a piece of rope in a tug of war. If you're not tough enough, you'll be ripped apart. But you can't close people out. If you do, it's hard to start letting them back in again. I've been there. I'm beginning to know you a bit better, Alex. Died, you're lucky you met Simon. I could have used a guy like him when I was your age. Might have straightened me out. Look at it this way, Alex. You got me to straighten you out now. <laughs> hey, over there, that's it! There was never a guard dog here before. You stay put until we check it out, understood? Give me my bag. Somebody wants to keep people out. Yeah, boy. There's a good No, 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 boy. Simon. Not too close. Alex, you know I have a way with animals. Good boy. Well, every rule has its exception. I'm going to take sterner measures. That's sterner measures? You watch. Take a look. Now what? Kid said he went in up that ladder and through the window. Huh. Why not? Lady friend. Yeah. You stay here, Simon. And that's an order. Freeze. Or your buddy buys it. Looks like the genius. Wasn't such a genius after all. Take the barrel, the two fingers, put it down. Real easy. Downstairs. Move! I wish you hadn't have done this. Done what exactly? Made yourself into a witness. You really should have left it alone. I just came here for my plane. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not through with it yet. And when I am, I'm afraid there won't be much of it left. But congratulations on your design. And now, goodbye. This is a mistake, pal. I guess we just better correct it, huh? Five minutes, and this place blows. 
Let's get out of here. Simon, that bomb's gonna blow this place sky high any minute. Been in worse situations in this, Alex. Yeah, name one. Jack who? Not Jack who, Jack. Take these off. should free that dead bolt. I can't. It's a mercury switch. Any sudden movement, it might detonate. The pitching machine. A pitching machine? Simon! It's gonna blow! What are you doing? Simon! Timing! Come on! Give me a low five. Yeah. Simon, Alex, what happened? I heard the explosion. You all right? We're fine. We just threw a strike. Simon. Look at this. It's QF9. Potent plastic explosive used by the pros. Tape, wire, radio. And they've got the golden fleece. And at 11. 15, traffic into the airport is light, no need. It's tuned to the airport Routes, information. Tunes, updated Plastic explosives, radio control, jet, airport. Terrorists. Oh, God, what did I do? But Todd, think. Can you remember anything that they said? Anything that they did? That's it. Now it all makes sense. We've got less than 45 minutes. Let's go. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Where? It's the San Paolo peace delegation. I saw it on the news. Their plane lands at noon. Come on. Security's as tight as we thought. But thanks to McKay, we don't have to worry about it. With the camera mounted in its nose, the golden fleece will be more accurate than a missile. If it misses, it can always go around for a second shot. They wouldn't risk running airport security. What's the control area? About half a mile. How are you going to get the blue streak in the air? It's all in pieces. It is at the moment.
I just hope we're not too late. Now! that anyway. Here we go, let's keep everything crossed. Tigo 524, 1,000 yards, and closing. I'm right on it. There it is. Got the angle. Just hope I've got the speed. Another model plane up there. Ten feet tall, lady. <laughs> Listen to this part, Simon. I'm back in school. And I hate it, just like the good old days. <laughs> as a boy off to my own heart. <laughs> and you were right, Simon, as usual. I'm living with my mom, but I spend lots of time with my dad, which works out good for everyone. P.S. Give Tilly my love. Ah. And tell Alex he's pretty cool for a fed. Oh, he's going too far there. Did you look at this mess? And just yesterday, I spent all day putting that closet to rights. I think I should let Tilly into my new secret, don't you? Don't tell me you've come up with another crackpot invention. Well, I've just perfected it. It's called, uh, Super Tidy. Super Tidy? This I gotta see. No, no, you can't see it. Uh, no, it's impossible, I'm afraid. It's top secret. Yeah, you're not allowed to see this, so close your eyes and don't look until I say, fine, okay? Close them. <laughs> Tilly? 
Martin, I don't believe this. How did you do that? No, silly, don't open the... Strength. I forgot to tell you, part of the secret was to keep the door shut. Tonight on the CBS Tuesday Movie, it's the story of a remarkable boy and an extraordinary animal, and how they come to mean everything to each other. James Ferentino and Tess Harper star in A Summer to Remember on the CBS Tuesday Movie, next.